Minitoon has discovered the formula to go viral on Roblox. His successful game Piggy has become one of the most popular games on the platform. To the point that as of right now, he has reached 9.3 billion visits, which is insane. And this is where the question we've all waiting for arises. How did he become the fastest game to reach 1 billion visits? How did it happen? To answer that question, I'm first going to answer another question, which is... How did it start? Hmm. Well, Minitoon is a Canadian developer that joined Roblox back in 2011. Fun fact, his original username was not always Minitoon. Back then, he used to go by the name ToonLink76543. His developer career did not actually start until 2016. Minitoon created a bunch of other games before even getting to the idea of creating Piggy. He made games like Side 35 with 13.8 million visits, CCP with 19.8 million visits, and Iron Assault with 14.7 million visits. All these games range from around 2016 all the way to 2019. Surprisingly, Minitoon was already quite popular at the time, even before creating Piggy, of course, at a smaller scale. Up to this point, Piggy was not even an idea for Minitoon yet. At the time Minitoon started scripting, he was still a young lad. He began his career by creating games with free models, and often getting help from other more experienced developers. With time and a little bit of help, Minitoon soon became more comfortable with developing. But there is one person that ran into Minitoon in the right place at the right time. This person helped to shape the masterpiece that we know today as Piggy. Her name is Ikea. IKEA offered Minitoon her help in a very early stage of the game. She showcased her building skills and soon became the project's lead builder and environment artist. Little did they know this teamwork would be the key to a million dollar project. <gasps> Whew, crazy right? It is also known by the community that Minitoon really enjoys his memes. There's actually two games Minitoon created that are now private called Sketchy and Potato Game. Who knows what secret or funny meme lies inside those games. It is no surprise that the game Piggy actually started off as a meme. Yes, you heard me right. Piggy's first chapter was created with the only purpose of being a meme. A meme highly inspired by the popular kids show called Peppa Pig. As content for the game and storyline, you can actually see many familiar faces from the show. Even when a player got close to the monster in-game, they used to play the Peppa Pig's theme song. Of course, this was removed for copyright reasons. Adding to that, Minitoon also took inspiration from the game mechanics of a popular Roblox game. The game name is Granny. The combination of horror puzzle game mechanics, popular characters from Peppa Pig, and a bit of memes turned out to be an unexpected success for the developer, quickly rising to the grand figure of 1 billion visits in less than 3 months. And no, I did not make a typo. Piggy has since then been on the rise, becoming one of the most well-known games on the platform and generating more than a million dollars in revenue. More developers have jumped in the boat, thus highly improving the quality of the game. Thanks to the collaboration of Minitune and many developers, Piggy has become what it is today. Okay, yes, we know he's successful, but what we really want to know is what is Minitoon doing that we are not? He gotta have a secret. Breaking it down, Minitoon's strategy was actually pretty simple. Right now, you gotta pay close attention if you want to execute it as perfectly as he did. First thing you gotta understand is that Minitoon did not really create something new. And please don't get me wrong, his idea is very much unique. But rather than a creation that comes from nothing, he transformed two concepts that already existed. One from an existing Roblox game and another one from a cartoon show, Granny and Peppa Pig. The logic behind this is pretty simple, but not everyone takes the time to analyze it. Minitoon is offering a unique alternative to what he knows his audience already wants. And what I mean by this is that Granny was already a popular game, so he knew that was an idea that could possibly work because people already want to play this game. It's proven by the numbers. On the other hand, Peppa Pig is an internationally popular show that attracts millions of viewers every day. Surprise! It also conveniently adapts to the average age of millions of people that play Roblox every day. This guy gotta be a genius or he's just extremely lucky. 
However, it's still possible that this might only be a coincidence and Minitoon accidentally pulled off the perfect game release strategy. The mix of two already popular concepts create the perfect opportunity. Don't you think? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you find this video helpful or interesting in any way, I would really appreciate if you take one second of your time to go ahead and click that subscribe button. My name is Poncho Kings and it's been a pleasure to break this down for you guys. That's gonna be it for today and I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? Peace!